We might be screwed. This is an AI video created one year ago, and this is an AI video created today using OpenAI's newest text to image model, Sora AI. And the world isn't ready for this. Imagine a world where you can create entire videos with just a few words, no cameras, no editing software, just your imagination and a powerful AI called Sora. Well, that might be the future of video creation from now on. Animators, filmmakers, producers may not have a future in the next decade. On February 17th, 2024, OpenAI collapsed media reality when they released a video introducing Sora, OpenAI's text-to-video model. And it had millions of people all over social media genuinely terrified about the future of artificial intelligence, and rightfully so. In a few years, we might not be able to distinguish reality from AI. People could get arrested for crimes they didn't even commit, and millions of jobs will be lost. This type of AI video generation wasn't expected at least within the next three to five years. I mean, just a few weeks ago, I created a video talking about how Pika Labs and Midjourney could completely change the future of the film industry, not expecting to get yet another groundbreaking technology advancement just a few weeks later. Pika and Midjourney are good, don't get me wrong, but it's not nearly as advanced as the capabilities of Sora AI. It can create realistic and imaginative scenes within just a few text prompts and can generate up to 60 second long videos featuring highly detailed scenes, complex camera motions, and multiple characters with vibrant emotions. The big difference between Midjourney and Pika compared to Sora AI is the world model. Models like Dali and Midjourney don't seem to understand the world in 3D dimensions or how objects within the world are supposed to work or behave, which is why they're so frequently inconsistent. And why I didn't expect AI to affect the film industry for at least under five years, because at the time, Pika and Midjourney were leading the way in text to video generation. But with the announcement of Sora, I'm not so sure. My AI timeline is completely shattered and it's genuinely concerning. What we were shown was AI that clearly does have a world model. It understands object permanence and less often produces results that highly contradict physics. This may be the biggest leap in AI advancement that we've seen in the last few years. And to think this is only what is available to the public. One could only imagine the AI technology that is behind closed doors. Sora completely beats out other video generation tools with its complex actions and scenes lasting up to a minute long. Visual consistency. Sora can keep characters and objects looking the same throughout an entire video. This isn't just cool tech. Sora has the power to change the way we create and consume content. Imagine small businesses, teachers, and anyone with a cool idea being able to make amazing videos without fancy equipment or a Hollywood budget. Writers can see their stories come to life. Filmmakers can test out ideas cheaply. The possibilities are endless. Video content can now be easily generated with multiple language captions or even sign language interpretation. This may even be the start of AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. With its world model, Sora can actualize and understand the world around it and generate responses from it. Sora is able to generate complex scenes with multiple characters, specific types of motions, and details of the subject in the background. The model understands not only what the user has asked for in the prompt, but also how those things exist in the physical world. If AI can understand physics, language, and the world around it, who's to say that's not already AGI? However, there are doubters. People don't believe Sora can actually understand the world around it. Lee Khan, a famous computer scientist, claims that Sora, while being amazing, is still not ready yet to model physics accurately, and the authors of Sora are intellectually honest researchers who mention this on the tech report of the blog. For example, breaking glasses not being modeled well, and it may not understand specific instances of cause and effect. For example, a person might take a bite out of a cookie, but afterward the cookie may not have a bite mark. But does the fact that Sora doesn't actually understand the world around us matter? If it can just behave like it does, even if it doesn't yet fully understand the laws of the universe and the physics that constrain our world, it's pretty close, and it's doing a pretty good job at pretending it can. Releasing Sora didn't just shock the world, it shattered everyone's AI timeline, made me and millions of others doubt what we know and don't know about AI, questioned whether AGI already exists, and progressed AI advancement faster than any other announcement in the past year. An AI model this powerful needs safety regulations. Along with completely erasing jobs, safety is a massive concern. Sora, combined with AI voice cloning, can create videos of people doing things they've never done. How can OpenAI ensure Sure, this will never happen. What regulations will they use to make sure these technologies don't get into the wrong hands? Well, they seem to be putting safety as their number one priority. They're working with red teamers, domain experts in areas like misinformation, hateful content, and bias who will be testing the model. 
They're also building tools to help detect misleading content, such as a detection classifier that can tell when a video was generated by Sora. In addition to them developing new techniques to prepare for deployment, they're leveraging the existing safety methods that they've built for the products that use DALI 3, which are applicable to Sora as well. They'll be engaging policymakers, educators, and artists around the world to understand their concerns and to identify positive use cases for this new technology. However, I noticed in the last sentence of their safety page in the Sora blog, they said, despite extensive research and testing, we cannot predict all of the beneficial ways people will use our technology, nor all the ways people will abuse it. Pretty much telling us, yeah, we've created this extremely powerful and potentially dangerous AI model, but there's no way to predict all the ways that people will use it for harm. Sora is set to release in 2024, along with GPT-5. Who knows how powerful it will be by the time it's released, but I guess we can only wait. The future is uncertain, but one thing that is certain is that AI advancements won't be slowing down anytime soon.